So your self-concept is your foundational story that provides the foundation for every other story that you make up that produces your reality. So you want a really strong, solid self-concept. And today I wanted to share with you a technique that I use when I want to up-level my self-concept or transform it to some other story in some way. Because remember, your self-concept is not who you are. It's the condition of the infinite I am and you're conditioning it as you want to experience your reality. If you're just allowing the self-concept that you've inherited from your caregivers, from your upbringing, then you are not living to your full potential. And I want to help you by giving you a technique to change your self-concept, to up-level it so that you can experience a reality that is to your liking. So that's what we're doing today. Stick around. My name is Hedley Dorenzi and if you would like support stepping into the starring role of your life movie because your reality is a life movie, I am available for one-to-one -one law of assumption coaching. I also have a free 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course which is the ultimate story that you want to be telling. You'll find all of those details in the box below this video or at my website youaretheone.com.au but for now let's just get into it. Alrighty, so today and all this week we are doing techniques. This week is technique week. <laughs> Because as I said in the last video, if you're not applying this stuff, then you're not getting the results that you want because it is in the application of the teachings where you will see the results that you want to experience in your reality. Otherwise, you are just reading and listening and learning, which is awesome. We need to understand what it is that we're doing. Of course, this stuff is working whether you understand it or not. But for those of you who want to understand, and I myself like to understand these things as well, but it is not a prerequisite for manifesting. You are manifesting whether you know this stuff or not. The reason that we want to know this stuff is so that we are manifesting more consciously and we're manifesting more of the things that we want to experience in our reality with our five senses. So your self-concept is your foundational story. That is the story that you have about yourself. And I'm assuming that actually a lot of you have changed your self-concept, but a lot of people are just accepting the self-concept that they inherited from their caregivers. So that's part of the setup. We learn about who we are from the external world. It's the most perfect setup for this adventure because if you want to hide where the treasure is, then set it up so that people's survival is dependent on the external world. I mean, it's amazing. It's brilliant. And that's the only way the, the adventure could be set up. So we have been set up to believe that what is happening to us is who we are. So if you experience any trauma or challenges or anything like that in your upbringing, you will have a self-concept that is based on that until you realize and wake up to the truth that your self-concept is not who you are. It's the story that you tell about yourself that produces your reality. And in any moment, you can change your self-concept. And when you do wake up to this truth, which is you are consciousness in human form, having a human experience, the first thing that you do is you change the story that you have about yourself. And that then produces the foundation for every other story that you experience in every other area of your life. Because you'll have your self-concept of who you are, and then you'll have a self-concept in relation to money, in relation to home, in relation to love, in relation to friends, in relation to community, in relation to work. So, the technique that I want to share with you today is a technique that I use. All of this stuff is so simple. You're going to laugh when you hear it because you'll be like, oh my God, it's so simple. Like, why am I even listening to this video? I know this stuff. Of course you do. You all know this. I'm just here to remind you. I'm here to remind myself. When we're creating a self-concept, it can be difficult to create it from the I am. Like, if you're in a current self-concept and you're trying to put yourself in a new self-concept from the position of I am, then it can be a bit difficult because you're not yet in I am of that self-concept. You're in your current one. So one way around that is to use third person. We have first person, which is I am, second person, which is you are, and third person, which is he, she, they are. The way we do this is in the room are two people, one that you know and one person that you don't know. The person that you know is describing you to the person that you don't know, and they are describing you in your most amazing light. So how would you like that person to be describing you to the person who doesn't know you? What is the story that you would love to hear them tell this person that has no concept of who you are or what you're about? So I'm listening to this person tell this other person about me, and they are saying, Oh, Hedley Dorenzi. Oh, she's awesome. She's this amazing law of assumption coach. In fact, she's one of the leading law of assumption coaches in the world. She just has this unique way about her and she's genuine and she's fun and she loves what she's doing and she's passionate. She's also loving, she's kind. She's beautiful, she's super intelligent, she is a great friend and she's loyal. You can tell I've given this a bit of thought. <laughs> but this is the story that I would want to be told about me. So. That's third person. 
So you're listening to somebody tell the story about you to this person who has no concept of you and you want them to have the best concept of you. So what do you want that person to tell? So once I've got that story down, I then take out third person and put in the I am. So I am amazing. I am awesome. I am one of the leading law of assumption coaches in the world. I'm helping so many people to change their stories. I'm genuine. I'm relatable. I'm fun. I'm passionate about what I'm doing. Da, 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 da. That becomes what you affirm for yourself morning and night. That becomes the story of who you are. That's the version of you. Some of that may be true. Some of it may not yet be true, but it is all true in imagination. It's all true in consciousness. And what you're doing is by placing your awareness onto that story, you're moving your awareness onto that and then holding your awareness on that story. And then your body, your world, your reality has to catch up to that version of you and your reality will reflect that story about you back. And it's just a really fun way to get into this self-concept work because self-concept is so important. It's such a foundational story. And I just use different techniques to play with it in order to get myself around any resistance that I may be feeling. Like if I'm not feeling that version of me, it can be difficult to just go, okay, I am that. But when I use third person, and I would suggest you play with it as well, when you use third person, it can actually bypass any resistance that you might have to telling yourself a new story that you haven't yet embodied as the I am. It's a much easier way to get to the I am version of that story through third person. Have a play with it. It is actually super simple. You're just using third person. You just use your name. And then what would you like that person to be telling that person that has no concept of you, telling the best version about you. And this person's there going, oh my God, who is this person? I got to meet them. They sound amazing. Wow. And that's the response that you want. So the story has to be so good that that person just thinks you are the bee's knees. Because of course you are the bee's knees. <laughs> Whatever that means. I wonder if that's on etymology online. Anyway, have a play with it. Report your success stories in the comments box below. And as always, please tell the best story about yourself and maintain your awareness. On It's so easy to tell shitty stories about ourselves. It's so easy. Most of us have been doing it our whole lives. It's time to stop that. And it's time now to tell the best stories. And if you need a little help with that, just pretend that you are listening to somebody just sing your praises and then take that and then place the I am in front of what they've said and then let that be your new self-concept. Let that be the story that you now tell about yourself every single day, morning and night. Feel into that, live from that state. And before you know it, your reality will catch up and reflect that back. So enjoy, have fun with it, play with it. As always, please remember that you are the amazing creators of your reality. You are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director, and the actor. In your movie, what you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you and assume the best for everyone in your movie too. And you will have an amazing life. And this is my wish, my vision, and my prayer for you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for doing this work. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.